King Charles's increasingly ailing condition is causing huge alarm inside the firm, as pressure grows for him to delegate more responsibility to Prince William, whose fretting Kate will struggle to cope with the added responsibility she's being given, too, a source exclusively tells in touch. Queen Camilla is convinced Charles is a workaholic and she's pushing him to slow down and focus on his health, the palace insider says. In February, Buckingham Palace made the shocking announcement that King Charles III, 75, had been diagnosed with cancer just one week after his hospitalization for prostate surgery. The monarch, who had been put on light duty following the diagnosis, has returned to his royal engagements and on September 3, Queen Camilla, 77, told the Mirror her royal husband, is doing very well, while attending the opening of the new state-of-the-art Dyson Cancer Center at the Royal United Hospital in Bath, England. While the king and queen are putting on a brave face, a second insider previously told in touch things may be more grim behind the scenes. The business of planning his funeral has already begun, the insider said. Unpleasant as it seems. The palace is giving the impression that Charles is on the mend, but he's still very sick. The source continued. Still, he's the king and palace officials are practical enough to know death is a possibility. As next in line for the throne, Prince William, 42, has been slowly stepping up and preparing himself to replace his ailing father, even as his wife, Princess Kate, 42, recovers from cancer, too, announcing on September 9 she has completed preventative chemotherapy. Of course, the first source continues, William is just as worried about his father and wants to take as much pressure off him as he can. Kate's still being eased in, but she's made it clear she's keen to step up as much as possible, the insider says. It's clear to everyone that William and Kate are quietly preparing to be king and queen themselves, and it's only a matter of time before Charles formally hands it all over. He's already started the process and is delegating a lot more, which is why you're seeing William's schedule getting a lot busier. Prince William recently released his work plan after a quiet summer break to look after his wife, which has the heir apparent busy throughout the month of September visiting galleries, artists and various other royal philanthropic endeavors. Kate, who had undergone chemotherapy for an undisclosed form of cancer, has said there are good days and bad days, as she rests and recharges alongside her father-in-law at Belmoral Castle. Though, she has admitted that the last few months have been tough for their family as the pressure of succession plus illness mounts. It's going to mean a whole new way of life as they make this transition, and the reality is it's very stressful. William's imploring Kate not to overdo it and take it one step at a time but it does worry him that it's all coming at a very tough time for her. Quote, 